What's up guys, it's Ninja Ed. I'm excited for today's install. Today we're working with Miltech Corp on their high clearance exhaust. It's a catback exhaust. It's two and three quarters inch thick. It's gonna sound great. If you haven't heard of Miltech, look them up. They're OGs from overseas, but they do have a, a base here in the US now. I'll link them in the description below. Let's get started. All right, so under the Bronco, I'm gonna start with taking the muffler off. We're gonna take, we're gonna loosen up this clamp here. It's a 15 millimeter. Um, so let's go ahead and take that off. That way we can get this big muffler out of the way. And then we can work our way to this hanger, remove that. All right, I got this hanger off on the driver's side. And then you come over here to the passenger side and get this hanger off. Now that hanger is off, let's go ahead and drop the muffler down. All right, now that the muffler is off, we just need to remove those two nuts. And then all that's left is two more hangers. You got a hanger right here above the axle. And then there's this hanger here. So this hanger here, close to the cat, is pretty easy. You just pull straight out. It's not as hard as the other ones. So here's a comparison stock exhaust on the right, and then the Miltec exhaust on the left. All right, factory exhaust is off. Let's go ahead and install the Miltec cat back. We're gonna start up by the cat section. So we'll just get the threaded bolts through and then push this into the bushing and we'll just hand start our nuts once everything else is installed we'll go ahead and tighten after all right so right here you're gonna want to make sure you get a clamp slide it over you're gonna take the long tail pipe and put it over your axle. Make sure you do have a rubber hanger attached to the tailpipe. You're gonna to have to reuse the one from your factory exhaust. You got your clamp, and you're just gonna marry these two pipes. Make sure it goes in as far as it can. And then we'll get the hanger and the tailpipe back on the factory mount. Might have to use a little bit of WD-40. So make sure when you are using these rubber hangers that the, the head comes all the way through the outside of the rubber hanger. All right, and again, I'm not gonna tighten down this clamp until I have everything fitted, and then we'll tighten everything at the end. So before we can install the turn down pipe, we're gonna have to remove this factory hanger and we're gonna install this included hanger bracket that came with the Miltec exhaust. So we'll remove these two bolts, install this new hanger, and then we can install the turn down pipe, factory rubber hanger grommet, and then we're all done. All right, so we removed the factory uh, hanger. We installed the Miltec hanger. Just gotta put a rubber bushing or a rubber hanger on. And then we have this beautiful turn down exhaust, nicely stamped there. So again, we'll use a clamp and then make sure you push it as far back as it can go. And then get it on the hanger here. Make sure that steel head goes all the way through the back of the rubber exhaust hanger there. All right, now we're all fitted up. All we have to do now is start from the front and tighten all the bolts down. All right, it's all installed. Miltec Catback High Clearance Exhaust. Look at that muffler.
Look at all this clearance right here. Nice turn down. Look at all that space now. I think I have an idea. If you guys have seen my other builds, you might know what might go back here. <laughs> 